Alright, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Today we'll discuss uh, some trigonometry and look at the derivative of cosecant of x and basically uh, go over a simple proof using other derivative rules. Uh, you can see all those in the video links below in the related videos. Basically, cosecant of x, also written as cosecant, that's how you would pronounce it, of x is basically, this is equal to, well, let's write cosecant of x, equals to 1 over sine of x right here. Yeah, so this is the definition of it, and if you were to look at basically a triangle like this, if this was the angle x, then this would be basically, if this is the opposite, this is adjacent, put an a, and then h is for the hypotenuse. The ratio of sine of x, this one we all know is just opposite over adjacent, this equals to o over h. You can see more on, uh, on trigonometry in the video links below. And then basically uh, the inverse of this would be then, cosecant of x equals 2 h over o already, or, or hypotenuse over opposite uh, side. So now to get to the proof, well first let's just write it down right here. So if, if we have y is equal to cosecant of x, this equals 2, well 1 over sine of x. Now the derivative, we could uh, write a pretty useful trick. First we could actually rearrange this and write it as a power, so we can go sine of x all to the power of negative one. This is just an inverse uh, right there. So basically, uh, this is, yeah, so we'll have something like that. And then if we were to take the derivative, so y prime, we could just bring down this negative one using the derivative rule for a power, or the power rule for derivatives. Basically put down the negative one. You can see the video link below on proof of this. And then basically we're gonna get a sine of x all to the power of, well, negative one minus one, which is negative two. And now if we apply the chain rule, we just multiply, uh, I mean, we just take the derivative of sine of x, which is cos of x, right? You can see the video link below on the proof of this. So that's the derivative of that using chain rule. And now if we simplify this further, we will get basically, we put this back to the bottom, we'll have uh, negative one over sine, I'll put a two in front of here. You could also write it as this, this just equals to this, but bring it down there. So this is sine x squared times by cos of x, we could keep simplifying this, write this as basically um, one negative one over sine of x, split this up into two sines, and this is put another one here, sine of x. So now the sine squared of x is equal to sine x times sine x, and then put this cos x over here. And now we'll be uh, left with, well, this one right here, this is just cosecant of x, and this one right here is just one over tan of x right here tan of x and then basically the inverse of tan of x equals to or the reciprocal of tan of x equals to cot of x or cotangent of x here. So we have uh, this right here so we just plug that in and we will get basically if I write it all down d cosecant of x dx or derivative of cosecant of x is equal to cosecant of x I'll put the x here times it by cotangent of x right here. Uh, there's, and there's a negative sign in front, so keep, remember the negative sign. So this is the derivative of it, and this is simple proof using the derivative rules that I've built upon. Uh, you can see the video links for all of that and in the, in the video links below in the description. Well, anyways, it's all for today. If you learned from this quick uh, uh, proof of this derivative, <clears throat> And remember, like always, you could download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.